Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our ORCID webinar powered by Appulate. Today, we're going to be going over the homeowner's high net worth. Some webinar logistics before we get started. All attendees will be muted due to the size of the webinar. However, we do want to hear from you. So as you have questions, please type them in the GoToMeeting side panel. In the question section, we will have a Q&A session at the end where we'll get to all of those. Uh, so uh, do type those in as you have them so you don't forget them and we'll get to those at the end. Uh, this meeting will be about 30 to 45 minutes tops. We'll try to keep it as short and sweet as possible for you. My name is Vanessa Julier Kamara. I'm the Director of Customer Development here at Appulate and I'm joined by Charlie and Kelly from ORCID. I'm going to hand this over to Charlie at this time now to tell you a little bit more about herself and ORCID before we get into our live demonstration. Charlie? Hi, thank you, Vanessa. Good morning, everyone. My name is Charlie Graham. I'm the High Net Worth Business Development Executive here at ORCID. Just to tell you a little bit about myself, I've been in the insurance industry for almost 30 years now, with the last 12 years spent exclusively on the exciting High Net Worth Marketplace. Assisting agents with placing these very important clients with a high net worth carrier who offers the level of protection and service that you and your insureds expect is my goal and it's the goal of our entire high net worth team. So we'll go on to the next slide, Vanessa, and we'll talk a little bit about ORCID. Who is ORCID? So ORCID opened its doors in 1998 as a Florida-based managing general agent, providing excess and surplus lines options for coastal properties. With significant growth, ORCID became a well-known leader in this field. And then in 2016, ORCID wanted to expand to the Northeast and acquired Platinum Partners, a wholesale brokerage firm focused exclusively on high net worth personal lines. So today, enterprise-wide, we're on pace to write $250 million in written premium. We've been licensed in 50 states, and we have 35-plus carrier relationships. So we'll go on to the next slide, Vanessa. At this time, ORCID is proud to partner with Appulate to offer you access to the industry's leading providers of affluent personal lines insurance. The carrier quotes available through Appulate and ORCID are AIG, NatGen Premier, Ironshore Private Client, and the Andover Companies. We are also proud to partner with uh, Chubb. We're a Chubb Cornerstone agent and those quotes are available to you outside of Appulate. And so your typical high net worth account would include the home, any valuable articles that that client might have. And on the next slide, we'll see that also uh, personal excess could be written through Appulate and auto insurance. All of these products are available through ORCID and Accolade. There are definitely additional high net worth carrier products that are available for quoting, and we can quote those for you as well. So once you have, um, once you have bound a policy with ORCID, uh, we have created these links for your convenience. Any questions that you have, you can direct them to the link. If you want to speak with someone, you can definitely call our main number and talk with one of our great High Net Worth team members. You can request a quote even though you are not currently appointed with ORCID. Appulate makes it very easy to get appointed prior to binding a quote. A pop-up dialog box will be generated if you're not appointed. You simply click on get appointed 
right there. You can sign the appointment agreement. You can upload all the required documents. You'll click request appointment. That'll go over to our agency services team and they're gonna process the appointment for you. And we're very quick at turning those around. And then you'll receive a notification that the appointment has been approved and you can go forward and buy the quote. We all know that today, insureds expect instant gratification. We get that. And we understand your need for the best quote turnaround time possible. Partnering with Accolade gives us the ability to make this happen for you. Our highly skilled, knowledgeable, and responsive account managers are gonna keep you coming back to ORCID for quote after quote. Growing your high net worth book has never been so easy. Thank you, Charlie, for that introduction. I'm gonna take it over from here. Uh, we're very proud to be partners of ORCID and we're excited to show you today how easy it is to use Appulate to submit to ORCID. But before I get into my live demonstration, I just wanted to take a few moments for those of you that are new to Appulate to tell you a little bit about us and sort of how we fit into this picture. Appulate is a technology company with a growing network of over 30,000 agencies and hundreds of markets making Appulate the place where agents, MGAs, and carriers do business digitally. Recently, we broke an Appulate record, receiving more than 16,000 submissions through Appulate in one month, and we continue to stay committed to you, the agent, by empowering you to expand your markets, automate your workflow, and save you time and money. So a little bit more on each of those points. We add new markets, uh, like our wonderful partner, Orchid, often. You will get to see in our live demonstration just how we automate your workflow, but let's expand uh, for a moment on saving time and money. So based on a survey that we conducted on retail agents, we found that agents are averaging about 40 submissions per month, and agents reported an average of savings of about 37 minutes per submission using Appulate. This translates to an average of close to 1,500 minutes or over 24 hours saved per month with Appulate. And of course, if we can save time, we can save dollars. So with those numbers, the average savings uh, per agent is $593 per month or over $7,000 per year. So hopefully I have your attention now and we can get right into our live demonstration. So I'm gonna do that by pulling open an Accord form that I have filled out in a PDF here. You may have your Accord form filled out in your agency management system. You may have it filled out in an Accord form uh, PDF like I have it on my screen, or you may not even have access to an Accord form. And you can uh, start, uh, or you can use Appulate regardless of if you have it or where you have it. I'll show you what I mean here. So. Wherever you have your completed accord form, if you have it done, you'll want to appulate it so that you don't have to rekey any of the information. And you can do that from the PDF or from within your management system. All you have to do is print the accord form to the, or forms, to the appulate uplink printer option. This installs on your desktop in less than a minute. I'll go over that at the end during setup. So hit print and it will ask you to confirm your Appulate credentials. Once you verify that and hit send, it will open up Appulate for you automatically. It will create the insured. It'll have you verify here the line of business, and then it will bridge over all of your data so that you don't have to spend any time rekeying that when you're submitting to ORCID. This is one of the examples of how we automate your uh, workflow and your submission process here. So here's the insured, here's the line of business, and it bridged over all of the information into what we call our SMART questionnaire. A copy of the Accord form lives here in the form section. Okay, so I did also mention that for those of you that don't have access to Accord forms, I want you to know that Appulate is still for you. In fact, now because of our partnership with ORCID, ORCID essentially has given you access to Accord Forms. 
I'll show you later on in the uh, demo here how you can get started right from within Appulate if you don't have a cord formed. But let's continue on with this uh, example for now. So we've bridged over our cord data. The next step here is to add ORCID as our market. So we'll go ahead and add ORCID. And when we do, the letter indication here on the right-hand side of ORCID will appear, and this will help guide us through the submission process. This will tell us any questions that are missing and required that we'll have to complete down below in the SMART questionnaire before we click on the Submit button, which is currently orange. So the goal is to get this to have a green Submit button that we can click on. All right, so we definitely want to fulfill the requirements so that we can submit, and the reason that it's done in this way is so that ORCID has everything that they need in order to get you a quote back as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna go through this section by section to answer any of the missing and required questions. These have a red asterisk next to them, and they are also outlined when you hover over this letter indication, and this, these are live links. So if you click on any one of these, it will take you directly to where that question is missing and required in the SMART questionnaire. Now, for the most part, it's simply just clicking and typing in the answer or choosing something from the drop-down menu. But I do want to point out that Appulate uses tables to sort information. So if you need to work on a table, uh, what you'll do here is if you need to edit information into an existing line, you'll click the drop-down menu and it will expand all of the fields from this line, much more than is shown in this preview here, and allow you to make any edits or answer any questions here. Okay, so that's how you answer questions in an existing line. If you need to add a new line, you'll click on this plus sign here for new record, and then you can go ahead and add another location in this case, or whatever new line of information you need to enter in here. The delete button lives just outside of this table here. So it's this little trash can icon when you're hovering over one of the lines. So if you need to delete a line, you can do so. Okay, so we'll keep working our way through this. It looks like we need to enter in a few more questions here. And you can go through this section by section, clicking the next button, or again, you can use the live link or simply jump around to the section that has a little red number next to it, that means that there is a question there that is missing. Once you fulfill the requirements, you will have a green uh, letter indication and you will have a green submit button that you can click on. All right, so the goal is to get that green submit button that you can click on, and we can at this point, but I do want to direct you to a couple of other tabs here on the left-hand side that you might find helpful, and then we'll go ahead and click the submit button. So over to the left-hand side, we have a loss run, a docs tab, and a notes tab. And before you submit, you may want to include attachments along with your submission. So if you would like to do that, you can go over to the loss runs tab. If it's any loss runs that you need to attach, you can click on edit insurance history, type in the carrier, and then you'll get a um, icon on the right-hand side to where you can attach your loss runs this little icon here. By the way, if the insurance history information was on your accord form, you wouldn't have to rekey any of this information, it would populate it. Any other documents, anything other than loss runs that you would like to attach as a part of your submission can be attached here in the Docs tab, simply by dragging and dropping files or clicking on Select to browse your computer. So, for example, if you need to attach an elevation certificate or an alarm certificate, go ahead and attach it here. And in fact, the ORCID team would like to encourage you to upload this so that you can get your quote back faster. Again, the goal here is the more information that ORCID has, the quicker they can quote this and get you a quote back, which we all know um, is very important to you. Finally, there's notes, a notes tab here. If you type in any notes here in this shared section, the ORCID team will have access to these notes once you click the Add button. So as soon as you plug in notes here, click on Add, the ORCID team will be able to review your notes that you wanted to include for this submission. If you plug them in under Private, the ORCID team will not have access to those. So those would just be for your own record keeping.
All right, so just to recap, since we sort of um, took a little detour here to talk about these tabs. So bridge over via core data that you already have, answer any missing and required questions here in this Q&A section, attach any documents here under loss runs or docs, input any notes that you may have for this particular submission, and once you're ready, go ahead and click on the submit button. Once you click the submit button, the status will change to state submitted, and this will trigger a notification to the ORCID team. The ORCID team will go ahead and open it up and start working on it as soon as possible. I've been told by them that their typical turnaround time is about uh, 24 hours. So for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to do it in Hollywood time, and we're going to go ahead and upload it right now. Charlie's working on that in the background. She'll release it to us so that I can show you the post-submission process here in just a second. So Charlie, let us know when you have our quote uploaded for us. Okay, I am having a little technical difficulty. It says my internet has stopped working, so. Oh. Uh-oh. All right, we'll uh, give you a second still, here. Okay, still trying. Here we go. Okay, trying again. All right, and while Charlie was trying that, I did want to bring up another point. Uh, so at this point, I'm submitting as a new agent that has not yet been appointed with ORCID, and I want you to note that you will actually get a quote back without being appointed. And should you choose to move forward during the time of bind at that point, it has an automated appointment process built into it. So you can get appointed at any time, but if you wanted to just wait until you wanted to move forward with an actual quote and request to bind, you can certainly do that. Charlie, how are you? That, that has been released. Perfect. All right. Well, very good. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh my screen here. And we can see that the status changed to say, quote, prepared. Now, you don't need to, you know, stay in Appulate and keep refreshing your screen or log back into Appulate. You will receive email notifications. So you can submit it and you don't have to worry about it. You'll receive email notification once the quote has been uploaded. In fact, the email that you receive has a link that will take you directly back into the insured file in Appulate. Um, but at any point in time, you can go to uh, insured, all insured, which is the very first page that you get logged into in Appulate. And there's a couple of ways to locate this. You can go to my latest 10 only or use one of these filters. You can go ahead and just type in the insured's name and look for it. Um, or you can go over here to the quotes tab uh, and see what's underway. So various ways to get back into the insured file to view the quote that ORCID has uploaded for you. Once you're in here, you can see the quote has been uploaded. So it looks like they got a quote back from AIG that looks good for you. So it shows up here and you can click on it and open it up for review. So it will just open up a PDF that uh, you can view here. You can extract it from Appulate should you need to, but I want to point out that to the very right hand side, these little three dots here will have an option for you to send this to your insured by email right from within Appulate. So if this looks good to you, you want to send it to your uh, insured, go ahead and click on this send by email icon and it will upload an attachment. It puts together a nice little email and signature for you that is simple, that is fully editable, so you can make changes to this. And uh, type in the insured's email address and go ahead and send it right over to them. All right. Once you hear back from your insured, if they declined it, you can update your status here in Appulate. And upload, uh, updating your status here in Appulate is important for accurate reporting. Uh, but for today, we're going to go ahead and choose that happy path. So we want to go ahead and move forward with this. The insured said yes, so we want to request to bind. Currently, that request to bind button is in orange. So following the same process as we did earlier for the submission, we want to make sure that that request to bind button is in green uh, to move forward. So we can see that additional questions have been asked to take that next step in request to bind. 
So we'll go uh, down below to the SMART questionnaire and answer the rest of those questions that have a red asterisk next to them. So just a, a few, a couple questions here, and then we'll move forward with the request to bind. I need to input the insured's information. And phone number. And lastly, policy information. It wants a billing option. Okay. So now we fulfilled the missing and required questions necessary uh, that are necessary to request to bind, but we still have an orange request to bind button, and that's because of what I had mentioned to you earlier. So if you're not yet appointed with ORCID, now is the time. When you click on this request to bind button, it says, oh, it looks like you are not yet appointed. No problem, we've built that process in for you. Go ahead and get appointed, and then you can go ahead and request to bind. So go ahead and click on Get Appointed, and I've already prepped this for you so you don't have to spend too much time just staring at my screen here. I've gone ahead and electronically signed the appointment agreement. It's done within Appulate. You click on this icon here, and it takes you through the legally binding uh, electronic signature process. And then you have to upload these documents, and I've already uploaded them for them so you don't see the list here but it would actually have a list of all of the items that you need to upload in order to request appointment. And this is actually grayed out, this request appointment button, until you've uploaded all of the necessary documents. So to upload, click on select to browse your computer or drag and drop documents. I do wanna point out that once you've chosen to upload something here, uh, let's go ahead and choose something. I want to point out that this is important. The type here in the drop-down menu is important. If you don't choose the appropriate type, it doesn't um, recognize that you've uploaded the document and it says that you still have missing documents to attach. So be sure to go ahead and choose the appropriate type from the drop-down menu. Once you've signed the appointment agreement and uploaded all of the necessary documents, go ahead and click on Request Appointment. And this will change your status to say pending request and trigger a notification to the ORCID team who will review all of this and, and appoint you if they have everything that they need. And you will receive an email notification once you have been appointed so that you can then go back into your insured file and continue on with the request to bind process. So Charlie's gonna go ahead and mark me as an appointed agent so that I can keep showing you the rest of the process. Charlie, let us know when you're done. Okay. And it has been accepted. Okay, very good. So I should be able to refresh the screen, the screen here and see that. So yes, my status has changed to say appointed. So I'm now an ORCID appointed agent. And again, I would have received email notifications. You don't have to keep logging in here to check. Navigate back into the insured file. And now you should have a green request to bind button that you can click on, which we do. So we'll go ahead and click on request to bind. And our status will change accordingly to requested to bind. This triggers a notification to the ORCID team. They will review and they will bind outside of Appulate. So once they bind, they will go ahead and update the status in Appulate for you as bound. So Charlie's gonna go ahead and take care of that for us. So I'll update the status as bound, to which you will again receive email notification on. And uh, your status, of course, will be updated here in Appulate. So, Charlie, let us know once that's done. Okay, I am. It is bound. 
Okay, very good. So again, you'll receive notification, and when you log back into Appulate, you will see your status has changed to Save Bound. The quoting functionality has been removed. The status up above is Active Policy. And if they've uploaded your policy documents, you would be able to see them here in the Policy Docs tab. All right, so that is the full process from when you have an Accord form filled out and you bridge it over, answer the additional missing and required questions, upload any documents, hit the submit button, you'll get your quote back through Appulate. You can share it with your insured right from within Appulate. And then if you want to go ahead and request the bind, you have steps there that you will have to follow, like answering any required questions, getting appointed if you're not yet appointed with them, and then you can go ahead and request to bind. All of the statuses can be followed along here, and you do have reports and accolades for your entire agency and all of your submissions. It should be very helpful for you. Now, I did mention that for those of you that don't have a cord form, Appulate is still for you, and you can get started right from within Appulate. So I'll show you how that, um, how you can get started with those steps, and then I'll get into setup, and then we'll go ahead and, op and open it up for questions. So for those of you that don't have access to Accord Forms, go ahead and get started right from within Appulate. So you'll go to Appulate.com sign-in page, Appulate.com forward slash sign-in, enter in your Appulate credentials and click sign-in. This very first page that it logs you into is called Insured, All Insured. So here is a list of all of your insured records that you have within Appulate. You can click on add new customer or prospect to get started with a new one. So we'll go ahead and start this new one here. And this is personal, not business. So we'll choose person, we'll input the insured name and click the continue button. You could input this additional information, of course, it's not required. So I typically just fill out what's required and it will probably ask me for this if it's needed later, uh, later on. So we'll go ahead and choose the line of business. Again, this is homeowners. It plugs in an effective and expiration date, which you can make edits to. That's it for requirements on this page, so we can click the Continue button. And on this next page, the process is the same. So those first two steps, you've manually created an insured record within Appulate, but from here, it's the exact same process that I showed you earlier. It's just that you didn't have information to bridge over, so you're now inputting that information directly into Appulate during your submission to ORCID. So the first step is to add ORCID as your market. The required questions will be outlined here. You can go through this section by section and answer all of those questions. Now, the good part about this is that, as I mentioned before, because of our partnership, now ORCID has essentially given you access to a cord form. So for those of you that don't have it yet, now you do. All of the information that you plug in directly into the ORCID um, portal here, which lives within Appulate, what we call our smart questionnaire, all of this information populates in a cord form for you in the background. So when you go over to the forms tab, you have any accord form that is related to the line of business that you're working on, including any supplementals that may be related. And if you select the forms, let's say you, you click on these um, buttons here on the left-hand side and click the edit button here, you'll see that all of the information gets plugged into your accord and your supplemental. Just head over to inline, and you can see that information right here in an editable form so that you can continue to make edits. It'll also plug in the information onto the supplemental. Any form that's in here, the information bridges over to so that you don't have to rekey information onto any other form. And these are um, you, these can be extracted from Appulate. So you have this PDF icon in a few different places. Here's one of them, and that will allow you to download the selected form. I'm going to click the X button here on the right-hand side and go back here. If you click on the individual form name, it will pull up an individual accord form uh, that is non-editable that you can extract from Appulate. 
If you wanted to get multiple Accord forms into a single PDF file, you do have this get as one PDF icon uh, or option here at the top. All right, so the last thing to go over is setup, and then we do wanna go ahead and open it up for questions. So everyone that was invited to this webinar already has Appulate credentials. You can uh, get started by going to the appulate.com forward slash sign-in page and typing in your credentials and clicking on the sign-in button. If you do not remember getting credentials, if you feel like you don't have them, go ahead and click on forgot password and it will ask you to input your email address and it will resend you, um, or it will actually send you a password reset so that you can get logged into Appulate. If this invitation was forwarded to you and you do in fact believe that you do not have an Appulate account, it's simple to go ahead and click on this sign up now process or button and it will take you through a simple uh, couple of page process where it will ask you for some basic information to create your free Appulate account. So again, it is free to use Appulate to submit to our partnered markets like Orchid. Once you have your credentials, go ahead and sign in. Once you're logged into Appulate, there are a couple of things that you'll need to do. First, you'll want to be sure that you download Uplink. So Uplink is the tool that you need to bridge over Accord data from an Accord PDF or from your agency management system into Appulate. And the uh, Appulate Uplink tool works with any agency management system. So you don't have to worry about what version you're on. Go to Tools and Appulate Uplink. Choose your agency management system from the drop-down menu. If you don't see it listed, there is an other option that you can choose uh, on or from. And click on the link to install. It'll install on your desktop in less than a minute. And if you need more detailed instructions, there's an installation instructions link here. And you can always email support at appulate.com if you have any questions or issues with Uplink. Again, that's support at appulate.com. So once you've logged in and downloaded Uplink, you'll also want to make sure that ORCID is listed as your selected market. For everyone that was invited to this webinar, this has been taken care of for you. So when you go to Markets and Selected, you should see ORCID listed as your selected market. Under Selected Markets are the markets that you've chosen to work with in Appulate. So if ORCID is not on this list, you won't see it when you go to do a submission. If ORCID has accidentally been removed from this list, you can always just go to Markets and Available, type in ORCID, and click the plus sign here on the right-hand side to add them. If you need to add other users to your account, that can be done by the account admin under Setup and Users. You can deactivate any users, you can edit any user information, and you can always add new users. All right, so at this point, we would like to open it up for any questions. So if you have any questions, go ahead and type them in the GoToMeeting side panel or feel free to raise your hand. We can actually unmute you so that you can ask your question out loud. And while we um, wait to see if any uh, questions or comments come through, I do want to have this contact information slide open so that you can jot down the phone number that ORCID has provided along with this contact email so that if you think of any questions after the webinar, you have a direct contact that you can reach out to. Last call, any questions, go ahead and type them in the GoToMeeting side panel in the question section or raise your hand and we can unmute you so you can ask your question out loud to the group. Last call. All right, no questions. So if you think of any after, of course, feel free to reach out. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this back over to Charlie who has some post-webinar information. Charlie? Thank you, Vanessa. I would just like to say thank you to everyone. We really appreciate you taking the time. Um, we will send out a PDF of the webinar and I will include some carrier materials. Um, and then please just choose Appulate and ORCID for your high net worth quotes and let's get started. Remember the phone number, you can speak to one of our high net worth team or the email appulatehnw at orchidinsurance.com and we look forward to uh, quoting accounts with you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vanessa.
Thank you, Charlie. Thanks so much for joining everyone. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.